I said this book, this book, Taurat book, yep. all of them go the policy. Yep. Hated them to discipline. And I'm saying you're wrong. If it's wrong, and you've just said it's a problem. No, no. Except, yes, I said it's a problem. You said it's a problem. It's a problem. So you accept the Bible has a problem? Okay. Ask you a question about your Quran. <laughs> is that is that no? I can't ask you a question. You're allowed to ask me whatever you want to ask me. I might not be the right person to ask, and I'm sure there are much more knowledgeable people that can have a more fruitful debate with you. That that's quite possible. That's quite possible. So Wait, was he engaging you in debate about Christianity? No. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. We're talking about, we're talking about COVID. COVID. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So my, my question, my question is a simple one. It says in the Quran that Allah is not like anything He has created. Agreed? Am I, am I, am I on camera right now? I don't know. Is He on camera right now? Sorry? Is He on camera right now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm not being on camera. You don't want to be on camera. So with all due respect, appreciate the question. I'm sure there are much more knowledgeable people that can answer your questions. Uh, fair enough. Uh, you said that so sincerely, I'm going to respect no it completely. And to be fair, I, I don't ever remember you interrupting or forcing yourself on me, so I will respect it. I will respect it. Peace with your sister. We got, we got, we got, the, we got Islam on the run intellectually. You know, you got, you got to believe that. We're, we're outnumbered. We're outnumbered, but intellectually, we're winning the arguments. You know. Yeah. Intellectually, we're winning the arguments. So be encouraged. You know. God bless you. All right, let's let's find someone else. How are you? Peace, we bro. God bless you. Have you seen Steve Bonds? Yeah, it's all earlier. I think he went off for a drink with someone, a coffee or something. All right, that's a shame. Peace, we with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair enough. Just say Bob. 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 Bob you had a good day? So far, so good. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. I just want to say I appreciate the fact you're willing to talk with people. You know. Okay. Um, let's let's go find. Let's. Steve Barnes is not here. What's sorry? It's a Quran. Well, so I'm asking this question. I can ask you, yeah, if you're a Muslim. So, so the question is, the Quran says that Allah is not like anything that He has created, yeah. But here it says that Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. So, if Allah is not like anything He's created, why is the Quran comparing Him to something He's created? So oh, <laughs> the Quran, the Quran says, you cannot compare me with something different. Exactly. Yeah. But the Quran is then comparing him to something that he's created. It says, Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth, the parable of his light. So there's the comparison, and then it and then it mentions, is this as if there were a niche within a niche is created, and within it a lamp, a lamp is created, the lamp enclosed in glass, the glass is created. The glass, it's as it were, yes, it's but it says that Allah is not like anything that he's created. Yeah, so why is he comparing him? I didn't understand it in English, but maybe if in Arabic I can understand what's going on. This in English, I don't know. Have you, have you ever read the Injil? No. You should. Oh, it's a me, really wonderful thing to read. I want to tell you something. Yeah, go on. All of this is one God. Sorry? Wow. All this book, Quran, yeah. Injil, yeah. Uh, what's name? Christianity, Jewism, all of them, it's book of Allah, of God, yeah? Yeah. He's creating this book certain of period. Every period of nation has making big problems. Yeah. God created send the books to call to, to guide the, the population for it. For example, Jewish. He created Torah because the, the Jewish back at the time they were doing dodgy things. God he made it to discipline them. Yeah. Come back to the good uh, Do you do you know do you know as Christians we re that, do you know we as Christians we reject the Quran. Why are you rejecting it? Because it's not from God. But listen every 
religion, you have to respect every religion, and every religion is related to the period of so time. So if we, if, God, if, created, if, let me tell you, Jewish, as I said, God, he created Torah, he made Torah, his policies, yep. its rules, yep. to follow yep. in order to go to the heaven, to not hurt other people. Are you, are you aware that as Christians, we don't accept that? But listen, let me tell we you. don't accept that. That is that period. After the Jewism, yep. they do indulge things as well. Yep. God created the book angel. Yep. Yeah, Christianity. Yep. Why? To put the population in a good way and they're not hurt each other. The angel doesn't have rules. But listen, no. The angel doesn't have rules. Back at the time, the nation of Arabs, God, because they do indulge things, God created that book. He made this policy yep. to discipline the yep. Arabs. It means what I want to tell you, my conclusion, a religion is discipline to discipline you and yeah. me yeah. because without discipline we will be like a jungle yeah. and you will kill each other here if it's not the police and this like if it's not the, uh, you know like human policy and yeah. rules you will kill each other because muslim is saying i'm the right you you saying you are the right yeah. jewish is saying i'm the right yeah. you kill each other that's now, why you sister you you have said you have said that that you believe that the injil is from god Right, so, and you said you all haven't read it. You said you haven't read it. What I want, what I want to tell you, all of them, they are policies. So what, 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 I would, what I would invite you to do, this is part of the Injil, and I'm going to give it to you as a gift. No, no, and I would like you to I read it. Listen. So, and, and for this reason, you know this, is, this is the reason. No, no, we, we, no, no, no. Do you know we, why I don't we, want to take we, it? We reject you know the Quran no, because the Quran reject. contradicts the Injil. No, no, listen, we no, reject no, this book no, because it contradicts this book. How do you know? How do you know that this book doesn't contradict this book? It doesn't contradict How do you know you've not read it? No, no, I did. But you've not. Oh, no, 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 you, you, so, no, 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 you said earlier you didn't read it. So, so what does this book say? I don't have this. You don't. What don't does this book say? This. You said no, that you read this book. What does it say? No, no, listen. I didn't have this. But however, I did read this. But, but I, I'm language, saying this book contradicts no, this book. No, I'm not going to accept that. Right, you're saying I'm wrong, no, no, which is fine. No, no, that's no, your right. No, 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 it's not wrong. So, so, it's so if you, no, you're Please saying you're saying that finish. I'm wrong because no, no, I'm saying that this wrong. book Listen. contradicts this book. No, 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 no. So Please I'm asking you. you, name me something that you know that this book teaches. Name me something. Name me something. Okay, that's my question. This policy and this policy are different. And Torah policy. Are they different. Are all of them one God. They are so different. God, like, no. So, so there you go. So, as you can see, Muslims will no, no, make no, Muslims will make claims no, no, they can't no, verify. No, 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 no. Can I tell you this the book contradicts this, this book. This, this, no, 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 sister, no, 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 you can't. No, no, right. No, this, this book. This book this, firstly, this book, book contradicts this book. I didn't tell you that. This no, book. I'm telling you. That no, this book contradicts that. this book. Me, you said you've you. read this no, no, book. No, 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 tell tell you, me one thing lie. that this book. So don't you've not read this no, book. No, no, no. I said to you. So you've I not read this book. I haven't told you that I read it. Have you read it? I don't have it. I don't read it. I, yeah, I don't read have it. it. I don't read it. So how no, do you know that no, this book doesn't contradict this book? How do you know? You know what I how do you know? I would like you to answer my question. Answer my question. Answer my question. Answer my question. From the beginning, yeah. I said this book, this book, Taurat book, yeah. all of them go the policy. Yeah. Created them to discipline. And I'm saying you're wrong. As, as a human. And I'm saying you're That's wrong. It. And they are not wrong because I am what? saying it's you are wrong, wrong in what you're saying. So there you go, guys. Muslims, and I wanna I, I wanna applaud that Muslim woman. Right. She's more willing to engage with me than many Christian men are willing to engage for the gospel. And she did a better job in speaking up for her faith than many Christians who are uneducated and unlearned do in speaking up for their religion. She was so convinced that she was right, even when she couldn't actually say anything that she had supposedly read from this book, because the Quran contradicts the Gospel of John. So they can't both be right. But she was willing to stand there and tell me barefaced that she knew that this book did not contradict this book. Christians, grow some balls. Seriously, get a backbone. Because if even a lay woman Muslim who clearly doesn't know what she's talking about can say so barefaced that this book and this book don't contradict one another when they so blatantly do, it tells you why 
Muslims are having a bigger impact in society than we Christians. So learn to speak the truth. The brother admits that they contradict. Yes, this Muslim brother knows that the Quran contradicts the Gospel and the Gospel contradicts the Quran. That means they can't both be right. The gospel, and there's a way we can test it, a very objective, scientific way we can test which one's telling the truth. The Gospel of John states categorically, Jesus Christ was crucified on a cross. The Quran states categorically that Jesus Christ was not crucified on a cross. Those are two statements of history. We can test those statements by looking to see what other contemporaries of the same period said. This is an exercise in history. It's how we know that Julius Caesar crossed the Rubicon. It's how we know that Napoleon conquered Europe. It's how we know that St. Augustine was a church father. You research and see what other people are saying. Well, Josephus and Tacitus are Jewish and pagan Roman historians who both teach that Jesus Christ was crucified. So, if on one hand we have the testimony of the Gospels saying that Jesus Christ was crucified, and we have on the other hand the testimony of the Quran, the testimony of the Quran which says that Christ was not crucified, and then we have the testimony of other classical Roman historians who agree with the Gospel and disagree with the Quran, then we know that the Quran is false and that the Gospel is true. Now your quick question. So you said the Gospel, right? Yes, this Gospel. We deal with the Gospel of John. The Bible. Are you excluding the other Gospels? No, not at all. Okay, so on what day was Christ crucified? Before Passover or after Passover? Um, it was crucified on a Friday. No, no, I ask you, which was he crucified before the Passover or after the Passover? Because if you read the John. Gospel of John, let's look at it. He'll tell you he was crucified when, just as the lambs were being crucified. Yeah. And if you read the Book of Mark, he'll tell you that the Last Supper happened at the same time as the Passover. Yeah. Which means they both can't be correct. Christ could have been crucified twice. You believe one was So can can we show can we show these verses, please? Uh, of course. Which so verses? Allow me to first make my argument, and yeah. then I'll provide my reference. Yeah, please. Unless you're you're not aware of this. Please, you? please, let's let's look at it. Are you aware of it? Or no, I just not? want to look at it. No, no, no. I'm asking. You. I, I I want to look I, at it. You can look at. I'm not okay. stopping you. That, that's my answer. I'm asking you: Are you aware of this or not? I I am aware that there is discussion about the date that Christ was crucified on. Yes. So. The, the date regarding the Passover. Yes. Specifically. Yes. So you're aware of it. Yes. So how can you reconcile this historically when one gospel you claim to be accurately true claims Christ was crucified before the Passover and the other one after the Passover? Okay. So now we've let you elaborate your argument. Can you provide the verses, please? Of course. Yes. Let's do that. We're, we're going to have a discussion, bro. But while he's finding that verse, while he's finding that verse, I want to point out to him that his Quran has exactly the same problem. It's called narrative differences. If you compare the story in the Quran of Adam and Eve in the different surahs, and I'll give it to you. He's finding his one second, brother, brother, brother. Right? No. Right. So let's let's look at this. You're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. While he's finding the verses, I said, I said I would point out to him that the Quran has the same problem. They're called narrative differences. If you compare the story, if you compare the story. In Surah 2, Ayah 30 to 38, and Surah 18, Ayah 50, and Surah 7, 11 to 17, and Surah 25, Ayah 28 to 31, and Surah 17, 61 to 65, and Surah 20, Ayah 116 to 120, and Surah 38, Ayah 71 to 85, you will find that they tell exactly the same story 
but all of their accounts are different. They put different words into the mouth of Iblis and different words into the mouth of Allah. Now, have you found your references yet? Have you found your references? I take it that's a no. So, I'll continue while you find your... I'll continue. I'll continue while he finds his verses. So, the reality is that narrative stories are by their very nature accounts that cannot and do not completely capture the entire story. If all of us right now go away and write an account of what we are all experiencing at this exact moment in time, there will be differences between the narratives. And this is what we discover in the Gospels and the Quran has exactly the same problem in it and I have given the references, so we'll compare. So you said it's a problem. It's a problem in the Quran. You accepted it's a problem. You said it's a problem. You appealed to Islam to say, well, you've got the same problem as we have. Yes. So then it's all all right. If you believe the Gospels to be true, yes. you don't appeal to falsity that you believe, for yes. example, the yes. Quran, yes. to prove that you're right. If it's wrong, and you've just said it's a problem... No, no, yes, I said it's a problem. You said it's a problem. It's a problem. So you accept the Bible has a problem? Okay, so now let me answer that question. Yeah, I am right, he's right, I said it's a problem. But a problem does not mean that something is invalid. There are testimonies and witness statements. <laughs> now, now, listen to the illogic. He wants to jump on the word problem. <laughs> a crossword puzzle has problems that you have to solve. Narrative differences are things that we have to solve. They don't invalidate the testimonies. Now, if he is saying that narrative differences invalidate the text, we will compare narrative differences in the Gospels with narrative differences in the Quran and we will see if the Quran can meet the standard he is applying to the Bible. We will do that. Is that fair? Yes, it is. So, have you found your references yet? Right, let's, let's go through them. Remember what so what, what's your first reference right so the execution was the day of the passover according to john 1828 and 1914. so 1828 and 1914 right uh, 1914. Uh, let's go let's go to 1914. right now as you're doing that let me just quickly uh think. so you believe that it's historically accurate, everything within the Gospels, the four Gospels. Right. History proves it. You were talking about Josephus Jefe, uh, and Tacitus yep. uh, and everything else. Yep. So everything within the Bible should be historically accurate, correct? Carry on. I, I'm just asking, that was my question. Okay, so let's read your verse. That your verse, your verse, he said that the Gospel of John in 1914 said, say it again. That the day of execution was the day of the Passover. Let's actually read what it says, because he lied to you all. It actually says, now it was the day of preparation for the Passover. It is the days before the Passover, is what it says right here. That's what I read. I'm reading it right here, bro. That's what I read, read it here. Read it here. That's what I read. What does it say? That's what I read. What is it reading really here? Why on earth did you just lie about it? What me? did it? You said it was the read, day of the Passover. I just read the bowl. So what was the other the execution verse? Execution was the day before the Passover. What was what was John's it the day? 18, what was the other verse? So wh why did what you, was the why other did verse? That? What was the camera was say? I, I, was he crucified before the Passover or after the Passover? Because if you read the John, Gospel of John, let's look at it. He'll tell you he was crucified when just as the lambs were being crucified. Yep. And if you read the book of Mark, he'll tell you that the Last Supper happened at the same time as the Passover. Yep. Which means they both can't be correct. Christ could have been crucified twice. What was your other passage? Honestly, what, what was your other passage? Why would you lie something what was your like other that? passage? That's incredible. What was your other Just passage? To show you have no sincerity. I heard right. you say it. Did anyone else hear him say appealing that the Gospel of John, the witnesses, 
Did anyone else hear him say that the Gospel of John said that the execution occurred on the Passover? Put your hand up. I just read it. Two witnesses, three witnesses, four witnesses. Oh, wow. So I've got witnesses that agree with what I'm saying. There we go. Right, there are witnesses. There are witnesses that, that, that believe, agree with me that, that you said something that was false about the Bible. Let's go, to, let's go to your right? other passage. There's witnesses. Do you accept witnesses? What, what was your other passage? Please, what was your other passage? There's witnesses that believe they've seen the what, UFO. What was your other passage? So your witnesses don't count. What were your other passages? Right. What was your other passages? Bold, directly, what was your other passages? Right. What was what was your other passage? I've said both of them. I'm asking you again. What was your other passage? Listen. Why? What was 18 something? What was it in 18? You get it up. Right? I've you got it here. Life. You're not what, be what was it, bro? You're just waffling now. Right? What was, you're just you waffling. Like. You're what was your right. passage? I've told you both. 1828 and 1914. 1828. Let's right. read 1828. 1828. Then they led Jesus from Caiaphas into the praetorium and it was early and they themselves did not enter into the praetorium so that they would not be defiled but might eat the Passover. Yeah. So, so, this is talking about the day before the, the Passover. Passover. Right. Brilliant. So, so, John says... Before the Passover. Brilliant. Right, now, show me the one that says now. it's on the Passover. Do, do you not know? I'm asking you. Do you not know the These Passover? are your arguments. No, show no, me. Do you, I thought you said you know. Go on, show me. I thought you said you know. Go on, show me. Huh? He should know that book by heart. He should. Of course. He was, he was of course. I'm imperfect. Carry on. One yeah. verse, Carry on. And now yeah. you don't even know. These kind of spurious arguments. <laughs> how many times do Muslims not know their own Quran? This is kind of playground logic, good for 12 year olds and 13 year olds. If that is the level that Islam has brought you to, no wonder you're following Muhammad. Now, what is the other passage? What is the other passage? Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Relax. And also, there's lots of shouting. Why do you have to shout? What can you do? He's right next to you. Just civil conversation. I wish that you would preach that to the Muslims. No, but don't worry about the others. You do what's right for you. Yeah. Yeah, you don't shout. Okay. You don't shout. Just right, he's right next to you. And you can have a decent conversation and come to an understanding. Okay. All about it is understanding. As long as you come to an understanding. So have you have you got your passage yet? Come on, get Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Nobody's trying to convince or, or you know, flip anybody. At the end of the day, we're all trying to learn some knowledge. Okay, while he's looking for his passage, let's now do a comparison to the Quran. A narrative difference in the Quran. Yeah. So, let's, let's do... Let's, one second. Jesus died on a Friday during Passover on the day of preparation for the Sabbath. What's the passage? Matthew 27, 62. Okay. Mark 15, 42. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Let's just go to Matthew. What, what, what is, which is the reference Mark in Matthew? 15, 1542. Yeah. Matthew 50. Sorry, I want to Mark, make... Mark, Mark. 15, No, I said Matthew. Let's, let's look at Matthew. I gave you three references. Yes, you rattled them off. Give me the passage. What is it? Matthew what? Where, 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 sorry. Where are we looking? Matthew 27, 62. Let's have a look. So, Matthew 27, 62. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is what it says. So, do you believe Christ was crucified so, before or after the Passover? So, we'll have to read it back. I'm asking. Listen. So what's your name? What's your name? Listen. What's your name? Listen. What's your name? Listen. It says. Yeah, listen. listen. <laughs> so. Listen. Listen. Jesus is believe? buried. They're talking about Jesus is listen. buried. So, that means he has been crucified. Okay. Listen to what it says. Yeah. Now on the next day, the day after preparation. So the day after preparation, he is crucified and he is buried on this day. The chief priests and the Pharisees gathered together, Pilate, and said, so they're not talking about Christ's crucifixion. They're talking about the actions of the Jewish hierarchy. So he lied, because this passage isn't talking about the crucifixion, it's talking about the chief priests, what they did 
after they crucified Jesus. Perfect. Now on the next day, the day after the preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered together with Pilate and said, Sir, we remember that when he was still alive, the deceiver said, after three days, I am going to rise again. Therefore, give orders for the grave to be made secure until the third day. So the brother tried to highlight a contradiction by saying that one gospel said that he was crucified on the Passover and he quoted John and he didn't. It said in the day of preparation and then he compared it to another passage that doesn't even talk about the crucifixion. Okay, the it talks one. about it one. talks about no, it the actions of the high priest after and what the, they after do the, after, after the, the day of preparation, the, the yeah. day they have crucified the, the Lord. So, John so his contradiction okay. does Let not exist. Are you done? No. Are you done? No. I have gone around no, and I've no, looked no, at his no, contradiction. No. Now let's look Stop. at one in the Quran. Excuse me, we haven't finished this. Go on. So Gospel of John says Christ was crucified before Passover, correct? Yes, on right. the day of preparation. On the day of preparation. And so. the Gospel of Mark, why did you only read uh, uh, Matthew when I gave you three ver uh, references? In John, you wanted to read both. Okay. Oh, so stop. I'm talking now. Right? So in Mark 15:42, please go to it. Right. I'm gonna. We're gonna do one no, on the no, Quran no, now. Mark, we'll come back we, to Mark. No, we we'll come back to no, Mark. No, no, no. So we're not gonna, we've we're established. Gonna, are you a 12 year old? We've you established. Jam, we've looked at his contradiction. Why, why, now let's why see if he can defend his Quran. Why, why you, what makes you think I'm Muslim? In Surah. I'm brown. In Surah Hold 3. On, I say I'm Muslim. 42. Why did you assume I'm Muslim? It says. Are you a Muslim? Why did you assume I'm Muslim? Are you a Muslim? You said I'm Muslim. Are you a Muslim? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Why did you assume? I am asking you. Are you a Muslim? You've made the assumption. Are you a are you a Muslim? Why did you assume? Are you, are you a Muslim? Why did you assume? Okay, let's go Why look at the Quran. Assume? Did you raise In Surah 3, because I'm brown. verse 42, oh, yeah, brown. behold, you racially profiled the me? angels, Listen. everybody say Listen. angels, you racially profiled angels. Me. Why did you Is angels plural me? Are Christian or faces? singular? Do you see brown people and think they're plural? plural? Or singular. Listen. So, you can shout like yourself. in terms you of Surah 3, 42, it says angels. I apologize for racially so, profiling me. Now let's talk about no one's me. racially profiled you. you. you You're hiding me behind Muslim. this to you're get away from your Quran. You're hiding behind here. this Why to get away from your Quran. Why did you make that? Am I wrong? Why did you make that? Am I wrong? Why did you make that Am I wrong? profiled assumption? Am I wrong? Why did you do it? Am I wrong? Listen, why did you do it? So, in why Surah 3, it, it said angels you, came to Mary. You didn't even ask. No, let's uh, look at hinder, Surah 19, my skin color. verse 17 to 18. Color. Our Buddhist, my she skin placed color. a screen Our from them. My skin color. Then we you sent racist. to her our you racist angel. Racist. Everybody Apologize. say angel. Apologize for being racist. Angel. So one surah of the Quran says angels. Apologize. Plural. Another surah of the Quran says angels. Singular. That is a contradiction in the Quran. Reconcile it. Reconcile it. You said come back to the Bible, yes? Reconcile that first. No. Reconcile that first. Why should I reconcile that? Reconcile that first. Why? Oh, why should, why should I reconcile that? So he stands he here and demands that I reconcile a contradiction in the Bible. But still when I show him a contradiction it's in the Quran, he says, why should I defend it? What? Sorry, is that my book? Are you a Muslim? Is that my book? Are you a Muslim? Um, is that my book? I'm asking you, is this your book? Why did you assume? Is this your book? Why did you assume? Why That's does he want book? to answer this question? I want to go back to the Gospel of Who's Mark. Who's betting this is I'd his like book? To, I'd like to go to the Gospel of Anyone Mark. Anyone who want to take that bet? I'll take that bet. There you go. Are you I'll a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? You assumed I was. Are you? I'm asking you. Know. So you're that not. Was very, that so you're not. You racially profiled. So you're not a Muslim. Look, 
Let so you're not a Muslim? Let pride go. So I you're not a Muslim? Let pride go. If I am wrong, I will apologise. Or you are Muslim? Apologise for racially profiling. I didn't racially profile I didn't racially profile You're playing the race card because you're losing a debate about your book. Why didn't you ask me That's what you're doing.